Hi, this is Involve in Innovation. Welcome to the second lesson on statistics. Today we are going to see about central tendency, which is one of the main subdivision of descriptive statistics. A measure of central tendency is a single value that describes the way in which a group of data cluster around a central value. To put in other words, it is a way to describe the center of a data set. There are three measures of central tendency. They are the mean, the median, and the mode. This gets a lot of attention when we want to see how the wide audience react, like average life expectancy, average income for a particular country or state. Let's do a small task. Think newly a television set got released and we randomly pick some 10 buyers and ask them to rate this television. Now if we take the average rating of this television, that is, add all the rating and divide it by the number of people, that is 10. It is 2.75. 2.75 makes us to believe it is average product. It is not terribly waste or fantastically based. But it does not tell about the individual data points. For example, the first person rating makes us to understand he is terribly upset with this product. For him, this product is terribly waste. If you see the rating of the last person, his rating tells us he likes the product very much. So, what does this infer us? The mean or average is good at measuring the things that are how relatively normally distributed. What is normally distributed? A normal distribution is an arrangement of data set in which most values cluster in the middle of the range. A normal distribution has a bell-shaped density curve described by its mean and standard deviation. The density curve is symmetrical centered about its mean. Here range refers to the difference between the largest and the smallest value. That means range of a set of data is the difference between the largest and the smallest value. Here the largest value is 95 and the smallest value is 65. So the range is 95 minus 65 which is 30. First we will see about mean or average. Here mean represents arithmetic mean. There are some other mean which we will be seeing in our forthcoming tutorials. Here we will see about arithmetic mean. In a classroom of 5 students, each one is asked to bring some chocolates. Teacher want to collect these chocolates and to share equally among these 5 students. First student bought 5 chocolates, second bought 1 chocolate, third bought 3 chocolates, fourth bought 2 chocolates and the fifth one bought 4 chocolates. Now teacher collects everything. Now the teacher asks 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 which is 15. Now teacher wants to divide it among 5 students equally. So 15 divided by 5 gives us 3. So each student gets 3 chocolates. This is mean which is nothing but the average. To find the mean add all the data points in the data set and divide it by number of data points which will give us the mean or average. Next we will see about median. Median is the middle data point of the sorted data set. Unlike mean which acts on all the data points, median just points to the center data point. We have a simple data set which depicts the number of cars sold on 5 days. To find the median, first we need to sort the data set, then we need to find the center data point. If the data set contains odd number of data points, then the simple formula to find the center data point is the number of data points divided by 2 plus 1. Here the number of data points are 5. So 5 divided by 2 gives us 2 plus 1 which is 3. So the data point present at the third portion is median. So here 3 is the median. Finding the median is very easy if the number of data points is odd. What if the number of data points is even? That means what if the data set contains even number of data points? In that case, we need to take the center two data points and divide it by two. That will give us a median. In this example, instead of car sales for five days, we will take for six days, which is even. Now, take the center two data points, which is three and four. Add it and divide it by two, which gives us 3.5. Next, we will see about mode. Mode is the value that occurs most often in the data set. To make it clear or to understand it better, think in this way or memorize in this way. Mode, 
the first two letters we will take it as most often we will see some examples of mode in the first data set four is the mode because it is the most repeating data point in this data set in the second data set four and five are mode because both four and five are most repeating data points in these data sets in the third data set there is no repeating number so there is no mode now we saw about mean and median and mode now we will see about weighted mean the weighted arithmetic mean is similar to an ordinary mean except that instead of each of the data points contributing equally to the final average some data points contribute more than others here we take simple example that is exam result of a student in a particular grade it consists of mathematics physics chemistry botany and zoology here not all the subjects carry the same importance each subject importance is denoted as percentage here mathematics is valued more than all the subjects that is mathematics valued at 40 percentage and all other subjects contribute 15 percentage each so to calculate the mean first we need to get the particular percent value from each subject then we need to add those values we will get the weighted mean that is 40% of 90 is 36 15% age of 80 is 12 15% age of 75 is 11.25 15% age of 70 is 10.5 15% age of 90 is 13.5 adding all those value gives us the weighted mean of 83.25 this is weighted mean now we saw about range mean median mode and the weighted mean now we will take a data set and we will calculate mean median mode and range we will take age of some random 11 people and we will calculate the mean median and the mode and the range the data points that is the ages are 1 4 7 9 9 12 18 23 26 30 and 70 Here to find the mean, we need to add all the ages. That is, one plus four plus seven plus nine plus nine plus twelve plus eighteen plus twenty-three plus twenty-six plus thirty plus seventy, which gives us two hundred and nine divided by number of people. That is eleven, which gives us the result nineteen. So nineteen is the arithmetic mean of this data set. Second, we will find the median. To find the median. we need to find the center data point the center data point here is in the sixth position as the value 12 so 12 is the median next we need to find the mode mode is nothing but most often repeating data points here we found that 9 is repeating more than once and it is the most often repeating number in this data set so 9 is the mode next we will find about the range range is the difference between the largest data point and the smallest data point here the largest data point is 70 and the smallest data point is 1 which gives the range as 69 thanks for watching this video for more technical videos please subscribe to my channel please leave your valuable feedback in the comment section